What's up, Zombie Talk? One, two, three. I'm sorry I don't have good news to report on tonight. Uh, there are some free agent signings today, but more importantly, uh, this goes out to Wilson Ramos's family, organization of the Nationals, and Wilson Ramos hopefully is safe. He was reportedly kidnapped um, tonight um, at his Venezuelan home. Uh, he's playing winter ball in Venezuela, and he gets kidnapped. Um, no one knows who kidnapped him. No one knows where he is. They're going to try to find him. It was confirmed by the winter balls. Um, Twitter that he was kidnapped. This is just such an odd story. I'm not expecting anything like this today. You might expect a few more signings. Uh, if you're, you know, if there's some big news that would happen, maybe you think a trade, a signing. Not a rookie player on the Washington Nationals to be kidnapped. Wilson Ramos hit 15 home runs this year. Uh, you know, bat around 260. He didn't get a ton of playing time, but you know, it was kind of under Ivan Rodriguez's belt there. Um, if that's a saying or not, Ivan Rodriguez. Um, helping him out, um, teaching him how to be a really good catcher. And, and this guy has a ton of talent. Uh, they drafted him for his power and offense, but his defense is definitely there too. Um, this guy can just play. I mean, this is a future all-star. Um, he's a you know, centerpiece for this Washington Nationals organization. Being a catcher that can hit 20-plus home runs is very rare to find. Uh, you can compare his numbers probably in the future to a guy like Alex Avila. Um, but for him to be kidnapped, I mean, this is just such an odd story. Um, don't expect anything like this. I, I've never seen anything like this, and I hope this is a quick resolution to this problem, and I, I hope the best to his family and himself and the organization and everything. I mean, imagine if you're the GM of this team. Your your player goes and went to play winter ball in a foreign country, which is fine because it happens a lot, but the fact that he gets kidnapped is like your worst nightmare. I mean, you develop this kid, and you know you love watching him play, and you see what he can do for your team as you're trying to build a better team as the Nationals. Uh, you know, getting closer and closer to contention, you know, have a lot of good pieces on their team, you know, with Ian Desmond and, and with, um, not Ian Desmond, he's not the one, or was he the one? <laughs> I don't know. Well, he played second base this year. They're thinking about moving to shortstop because Ian Desmond struggled. Um, I'm not, I, oh, Danny Espinosa had a great year this year. You know, Ryan Zimmerman, Michael Morris, Adam Roach coming back. You know, they're, I bet they're going to sign Roy Oswald, I'm guessing. They need a veteran starting pitching that can be dominant there. They have Strasburg coming back. Jordan Zimmerman won't have an inning uh, limit there, and he's a prize possession for any team. You know, coming off Tommy John surgery um, this year, had a great year. Uh, John Lannon, a really strong pitcher, really solid there. And, you know, they have a lot of great pieces for the future and, and hope to improve. And for something like this to happen is just an absolute disaster. I mean, obviously nothing has happened, officially has happened yet, you know. No one's dead or anything, so that's great. Um, hopefully this situation does not result in violence. Um, hopefully they just, you know, give him back or just maybe they're probably going to ask for money or something. Um, I really don't know what's going to happen. I don't know why someone in his home country wants to kidnap him. I mean, obviously Wilson Ramos probably has some money. He got paid like 400 k last year. You know, not that much for what he did production-wise for the Nationals. Um, but he was just a rookie last year, put up great numbers, um, and expect him to have a great future, and he gets kidnapped in Venezuela from his home. It's just so odd. Um, and hopefully for the most hope for the best for him and his family, the organization, it's just everyone. This is just a not good thing. Any baseball fan, any sports fan, for a player to be kidnapped from their home in a foreign country is not good. Um, I would imagine Nationals organization probably making sure there's enough uh, law enforcement things that are being taken care of. I think they'll probably send some people over there, try to make sure the situation's under control because this is this could be a nightmare. If something happens here. Um, I sadly, I have to report this. This is MLB news, um, and um, I'd much rather report on maybe a free agent signing or something, give my opinion on that. But um, you know, the National is definitely moving in the right direction, and and this is so unpredictable, and, and this just doesn't happen all the time. So. Uh, again, thoughts out to their family and, and him. And let's be optimists here and, and say that he will be returned and everything will be fine. You know, I mean, nothing terrible is going to happen, I hope. Uh, let's just be optimistic about it and, you know, think for the best. And um, hopefully that does happen. And hopefully it does get returned and, and hopefully the situation resolves very quickly. Again, this reporting confirmed by the team's Twitter and Winterball that he was kidnapped, no information, not a ton of information that has been released yet at all. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, not This is not the greatest news, obviously, pretty bad news, but thanks for watching Zombie Talk 1, 2, 3.